Welcome to this video. It's Max Videos representing Old Guys Rule OK, OK, which they do sometimes. <laughs> Not often. Anyway, this is how I set my white balance up on my Canon HF G20, no, 10. But it's the same on the 20, the 30, the 50, uh, most of them. It was the same on my old Canon still cameras, uh, my Sony's, my Nikon, and so on and so forth. Somewhere, if you've got an enthusiast camera or a pro camera, it'll have white balance to be at the a facility to set it up. I use one of these, it's a lens gap, which drops in there. There you can see it. I'll point it up, oh, we'll backtrack. Right, this is my setup. You'll notice it's all in manual, F18, 150. It doesn't have to be. Yeah, going to autofocus, it doesn't matter. Uh, the setup's still the same, but I prefer using all manual. My age, I suppose. You put the lens pointing at the light that's illuminating your talent, your subject, or if it's just a general landscape photo, just point it upwards so you're not reading off the grass <laughs> or the cliffs or whatever else. And you'll see I've got a little white dish shows there. Now, some people zoom in on it. I, I personally don't, I've never found the need, you know, and then function, white balance, set one, well I'll set two, come on set two, that's it, now it says set WB, set white balance, now this is a daylight bulb, so and it's blue, so I assume the scene will take a blue tinge on. Anyway, that's it set. Set. Back out. Take the lens cap off. Oop. And as you can see, like I said, it's illuminated blue. It's still taking, it's meant to be focusing, but yeah, it's focused now. You can see the red highlights which is set from where I'm manually focused uh, to show that it is in focus. <laughs> anyway, back to the white balance. You can see you've got a blue tinge. Anywhere the light goes, you've got a blue tinge. Quite cool looking. You can go into your programs again and you can alter that. In there, your color temperature. And you can alter it whichever way you want. Go up where it goes warm, all orangey, <laughs> and you can go down, which will just turn it cooler and bluer. As you can see, look, blue. But the automatic, this uh, automatic, the A automatic white balance would always give you blue in this area with this light. So it pays to be able to set your own white balance. And that's basically it. Hope you enjoyed it. Oh, you can buy these on eBay for two and a half pounds at about three and a half dollars. Or you can pay up to 29 pounds, 35 dollars. <laughs> I don't know why. The dearer ones, this little middle bit here slides, comes out. Yeah, like that. And you can change it for an orangey colour, which warms the scene up. Which seems a bit surplus to requirements to me because you can <laughs> you can set your color to suit yourself in camera anyway let's leave that for later to put together that's basically it hope you enjoyed it hope it helps you if you're difficulty setting up your, your your white balance i keep going to say automatic white balance because it's in the camera under awb but you'll notice from a sound recording, I'm using the Zoom H2N. It's better than any other I've found up to now. It's really quite a brilliant in-studio in type recorder as well as out in the field. But this isn't a tuition on the Zoom. Nor is it if you've noticed the built-in fader. Yeah, look at my lens. Ooh. 
and you see it's dropped to f1.8 and then we'll go way up here and that's it fully open so yeah I like to keep a, 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 a filter over my lens and I like a fader for shooting video always aye aye that's your lot thanks for watching bye